Spurs Lakers, if you haven't already heard, this game was capital W-I-L-D wild. Most of these highlights will come from the fourth quarter in OT because literally everything happened. And that is not an overstatement. LeBron only scored four points in the first half of this one, turned it around, and somehow finished with 32-8-4, which again is unreal considering his pedestrian start despite those two assists. DeMar DeRozan also had 32, 8, and 14. Yeah, the exact stat line as LeBron James. What are the chances he looks comfortable in San Antonio, to say the least? That was a beautiful and one felt the pressure from Josh Hart from behind. Flips it up and in. Get you all ready to the fourth quarter. Aldridge had 37 and 10 tonight, dishing out to DeMar, who definitely didn't call bank. But it doesn't matter. Three points is three points. Here we go. Seven seconds left in regulation. LeBron James Oh, baby. LeBron, what a clutch shot. He shot that thing from San Diego. Tied the game at 128 with two seconds left. NBA Twitter was calling this man the GOAT again. Life was good for at least seven minutes. And I'm not joking. The shot was impressive by LeBron right in the grill of Rudy Gay, pulling up from at least 28 feet. That sent the game to overtime, and OT was seemingly all Lakers. I'm still not sure how the Spurs remained in this game. Lonzo Ball confidently stroking a three in the corner there. LeBron right over to him. This is just so easy for Lonzo Ball. Money. And off this crazy sequence, LeBron ends up with an and one, of which he converts the free throws to give the Lakers a six-point lead. Again, I don't know how the Spurs remained within striking distance in this game. It was a mystery. 45 seconds later though, a chance to ice the game, LeBron at the free throw line, and you can already guess what happens. He misses the first one, a chance to at least force the Spurs to make a three for the win, and he blows that one as well. 11 seconds left, the Lakers were still in the position to save the King should they get a defensive stop and convert the subsequent free throws, but Patty Mills, yes, you betcha, he puts it in off the screen, pulling up, going right. That is just gorgeous. What a play drawn up by Greg Popovich. It wasn't to Aldridge who had 37 on the game. Wasn't to DeMar and his 32 points. Patty Mills and his 12 points on the game with the eventual game winner. Where's the defense from the Lakers? Lonzo, you gotta go over that screen. The Lakers did have a chance to win it though or tie the game if, you know, LeBron got to the free throw line. He didn't. Settles for a step back jumper. Misses wide right. Call it a game. The Lakers lose. They go to 0-3 on the season, 143-142 for the Spurs.